Hey guys, welcome to my office. So let's talk a little bit about week one, what we are going to be doing. We're gonna be focused on, on two things during this first week. First, we're gonna be working on um, a habit that is really hard for you to break. And second, we're gonna be incorporating a new healthy habit. All right, so let's talk about the bad habit first. So, sorry, I just got done working out, so I look really, I look really gross. So first of all, we're gonna take something that you have a hard time getting over. So say it's something that you're like, I starting next week, I'm going to not do this. I'm not going to eat this. I'm not going to have this because I wanna stop. All right, for my husband, that's Mountain Dew. He's always, always, I'm telling you all the time, I'm gonna stop drinking Mountain Dew. He'll go like two days and then he's right back to it, okay? Um, so for me, that's chocolate. I have a really hard time with like cookies and brownies and things. Um, so we all have that thing that we just can't get rid of, right? So it could be soda, it could be chocolate, it could be coffee, it could be wine, it could be chips, ice cream, whatever that looks like for you, figure it out and that's the one that I want you to focus on, all right? What we're gonna do with that is we're going to allow ourselves to have it. Yeah, you heard me right. We're going to have it, okay? So if you have this item more than four times a week, I want you to allow yourself to have it two times this week. Pick the days that you want to have it. Already have those days set in stone and say, I'm gonna do it Monday and Thursday. Okay, good little in between, gives you a few days in between, but a very even amount of days. I'm gonna do it Monday and Thursday, all right? Those are the days that you're gonna have it, okay? You're not gonna say, well, I'm allowed to have it twice this week, so, oh, today seems like a good day, let me just do it, okay? Plan for it. I want you to plan for it. Pick the day that you are going to have it and have it. If you typically have this item less than four times a week, I would say anywhere between one to three times a week. It's, it's, it's something that you aren't super out of control with. You don't feel like you're out of control with it, or it's not something that um, is, is something you need all the time, but you like to have it more often than you probably think you should. Then I want you to do it once. Pick one day that you can have that. Fridays are typically my days that I have like my fast food or you know something like that. Um, so I want you to pick the day again and I want you to plan for that day and keep, keep it up, keep that momentum up, okay? Pick a day that it's going to be easy for you to get to, all right? Don't say, well, I'm gonna have it the last day of the challenge, okay? or the last day of this week. Because then all week long, you're gonna be like, oh, I just wanna have it, I just wanna have it, I just wanna have it, okay? Make it very easy for you. And I want you to do that. I want you to allow yourself to have it, no guilt, because you've planned for it, and you're rewarding yourself for that, all right? So that's what we're gonna be doing this week with our one habit that we want to break. The second thing that we are going to do is we're going to be incorporating, if you don't already, having something first thing in the morning when you wake up to eat. A lot of people skip breakfast and you've heard breakfast is the most important time of the day or most important meal of the day. I mean, eh, sure, <laughs> um, but it doesn't have to be, all right? There's a lot of people who don't have breakfast out of convenience. If you are someone who is like intermittent fasting, then this, then just ignore this, then, then just don't do this. If you are intermittent fasting and you, that is something you are actively doing and not just watching this video going, oh, well, I guess I'll just intermittent fast. <laughs> if it's something you are already actively doing, then don't incorporate this because that is a lifestyle that you are doing, okay? But if you are just too busy or you just aren't quite hungry really quite yet, but then like an hour later, you're really hungry. And so then you have like, treats and snacks and things like that. If that sounds like you, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna incorporate something. You don't need to have a full meal in the morning. If you just aren't hungry, that's fine. 
it's totally fine. Um, just have like a piece of bread or a banana or an apple. I just want you to have something. What breakfast is really good for and why they say it's the most important meal, I'm not saying it's the most important meal, but it is very beneficial. The reason why is because when you eat something first thing in the morning, it helps to energize your body. Your body is, is having those drops mid-morning because you haven't fueled it. So it's giving you fuel, okay? Think of your body as a vehicle. It needs that fuel to go, right? And if you're running on empty, you can only go so long before you stop, okay? Before you need to fuel. And typically, if you're running on empty for a while and then you need to fuel, you're fueling with things that are just gonna make you drop again, okay? You're just pulling into the cheap gas station with the cheap gas that doesn't last you very long, right? So eat something. I don't care. I really, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be specific on what to eat. I just want you to, to find something to eat. Give yourself some fuel first thing in the morning, all right? And I want you to document, if you have time, I would like for you to document how the morning went, all right? And, and certain foods are going to make you feel more full. Certain foods are going to give you more fuel for longer. So if you have a slice of bread in the morning, you might find that you're hungry still, no matter what. Um, if you have some fruits or something like that, something a little bit more sustainable, then you're going to feel more energized for longer, all right? So I want you to find something that works for you, that you can eat, you have all week long to figure out what it is that makes you feel energized more throughout the morning where you're not having that crash mid-morning before lunchtime, all right? Whatever that food is for you, every body is different, everyone responds to food differently. I want you to incorporate that. That is our challenge for this week, all right? I am going to be doing um, cookies <laughs> uh, during, during my uh, two months off. This last two months from having surgery, I uh, have just really indulged in some cookies. All right, uh, <laughs> just that's my comfort food. Um, I had a, a, for those who don't know, I had a miscarriage and a second trimester and I ended up having to have two surgeries for it. Um, so it's just kind of like a comfort food type thing and um, just kind of went a little over the edge. So that is my, that is my thing that I am doing and um, I already eat breakfast. So I'm just gonna continue to eat breakfast and I'm gonna check in with you guys on Friday. <laughs>